if we want to learn how to write a chemical reaction, then before the chemical reaction, we must be able to write molecular formula of different compounds. But we cannot write molecular formula of compound if we don't know the valency of elements and radical, which, which are used in the chemical reaction. That's why we have to start with the valency of element and radical. We have to remember the valency of elements which frequently comes in the chemical reaction. And I'm going to write the valency of different elements. What are they? Valency 1. What are the elements having valency 1? They have valency 1, hydrogen, sodium, potassium, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, silver, and the other also, they are copper, mercury, and we can write gold also. These elements have valency 1. And in the same way, the element having valency 2, we have to remember this also. What are they? Oxygen, and then sulfur, and then calcium, magnesium, and there are many. Zinc, copper, zinc, copper, and mercury, and then iron, mercury, cobalt, iron, and Late can be remembered as the element having valency 2. Now, the element having valency 3. Valency 3. What elements are kept in... I mean to say, what uh, which elements have valency 3? Nitrogen has valency 3. And aluminium has valency 3. And uh, this gold also has valency 3. Iron has also valency 3. These elements have valency 3. In the same way, there are some elements having valency 4 also. What are they? They are commonly, they are carbon, silicon, and other are sulfur and lead also. Pp. And look at this. And the elements having valency 4. Valency 4. Finish. Valency 5. Now, the elements having valency 5 are phosphorus, nitrogen, etc. An element having valency 6, valency 6 is sulfur. Now, this we must remember, but have you noticed this? I, uh, I quoted some of the elements uh, differently. Look at this, they are encircled. Why they are encircled? Because some of the elements have variable valency. I mean to say, uh, just for example, copper, its valency is sometimes 1, sometimes 2. In the same way, mercury has also valency 1 and 2. In the same way, lead, its valency is 2, sometimes its valency is 4. It means these encircled uh, have valency, variable valency, some, uh, some, sometimes different and another time are different. Now, this vari variable valency, we have to remember, in case of metals, variable valency can be represented like os and ik. I mean to say, o-u-s, os. This is suffix os and this another one is ik, i-c, ik. What I mean to say, if someone says, just for example, some of the elements, some of the metals, metals, just like the metal like copper, copper, if C-U-P-R-O-U-S, cuprous is told, then its valency will be 1. And if the same copper is called cupric, C-U-P-R-I-C, cupric, then its valency will be 2. In the same way. This variable valency of mercury also, mercury, its valency, mercurous, M-E-R-C-U-R-O-U-S, mercurous means valency 1, but mercuric, M-E-R-C-U-R-I-C, mercuric means valency 2. In the same way, there are other also, look at this, the metal, ferrous, iron. 
Iron is denoted by sometimes it is written as ferrous, F E R R O U S, ferrous. When we say ferrous, then its valence is 2, and if it is told ferric, F E R R I C, then its valency is 3. This way, uh, there are other also, but a few of them are given here. Os valency represents the metal has less valency. Ik represents metal has more valence. Just for example, cuprous chloride. At this time, copper has valency 1. If you are told cupric chloride, at this time its valency is 2. In the same way, mercurous oxide, its valency is 1. Mercuric oxide, at this time, valency of mercury will be 2. Ferrous, uh, ferrous sulfate, valency of iron will be 2. In this case, ferric sulfate, val valency of iron will be 3. This way, us represents less valency and ik represents more valency. Now, I am talking about the radical. There are some radical which we must remember and their valency should also be remembered. Just for example, sulfate, S-U-L-P-S-A-T-E, sulfate, its formula is SO4. Its valency is 2 in the same way. Sulfite, its formula is SO3, valency is 2. And number 3, nitrate. Nitrate, its uh, formula is NO3, valency is 1. The similar, looks like similar, another one, NITR. IT nitrite it is different than nitrate and O2 is valency is 1 in the same way carbonate C A R B O N A T E carbonate is formula is CO3 valency is 2 now another one ammonium A M M O N I U M ammonium N as 4 its valency is 1. Another one bicarbonate by C A R B O N A T E. Bicarbonate is sometimes called hydrogen carbonate. S Y D R O G E N. Hydrogen carbonate. Hydrogen carbonate is formula is H. CO3 and valency is 1. In the same way, hydroxide, S Y D R O X I D E, hydroxide, small, its uh, formula is OS, valency is 1. And another one, bisulfate, by S U L P H A T, bisulfate or hydrogen sulfate S Y D R O G E N hydrogen sulfate its uh, formula is S S O 4 its valency is 1 phosphate P H O S P H A T E phosphate its formula is P O 4 and its valency is 3 now another one, another one, chlorate, C S L O R A T E, chlorate, formula is C L O 3, its valency is 1. Another one, silicate, S I L I C A T E, silicate, its formula is S I O 3, and its valency is 2. And what I am writing here, these are the elements which frequently comes in the chemical reaction and these are the radicals which frequently comes in chemical reaction that's why we have to remember the valency of these elements and valency of these radicals then only will be able to write molecular formula when they combine with each other then how uh, their valency uh, are exchanged i'll and tell you in another class and without the knowledge of this we cannot start chemical reaction but remember one another matter also 
elements are represented by symbol this radicals are represented by formula but compound is represented by molecular formula now next class we will learn about the molecular formula and then we will start chemical reaction